Fort Lauderdale Boat Show is one of the biggest boat shows in the world and certainly one that shows the largest yachts in North America. But when the largest yacht builder attends the biggest boat show, what is their mission? What are they hoping to achieve? Well, I visited Lurson at their stand to find out exactly that. As I've got to know the people at Lurson better over this year, one of the messages that's come through most strongly from their team is that they are very committed to making yachting more sustainable and their stand communicates this message very strongly. The entire stand, located in the new Super Yacht Village at Pier 66, is built from a new material called Tesumo. Those of you who have seen the vlog I published about this material will know that it is a molecularly modified, fast-growing wood that can be used instead of teak. Teak being a wood that really does need our protection. It's the result of a decade of research and development that Lurson have been involved with, not for their own commercial advantage, but for the benefits of all yacht builders and yacht owners who take their responsibility to preserve our planet's resources. The water wall too was a clever feature on the stand, of course by encouraging visitors to use reusable cups when they drink from this water wall, they aren't going to solve the problem of plastics worldwide, but little initiatives like this have certainly influenced me, and I'm sure millions of other people, to reduce the amount of plastic we use and to try to reduce the pileup of empty plastic bottles of waste that's suffocating our world. And I think this is the point that struck me the most about Lurson's approach to sustainability. Now, in a recent vlog that I published about that Tisumo wood, I received a lot of cynical comments from people who doubted the ability of a company producing large luxury yachts to also be compatible with sustainability. Now, I did share those comments with some of the Lurson staff during the boat show because they are interested in what the public perception of their sustainability is. We all know, of course, that large yachts, along with cars and aeroplanes, exist because they've been using the planet's resources for decades now. And I have no doubt that Lurson, along with Mercedes and Boeing would love to be able to produce objects that have no environmental impact at all. And the fact that they're not yet in a position to completely resolve this problem doesn't mean to say that they should shrug their shoulders and just do nothing about it at all. In fact, I find the fact that one of the world's leading mega yacht builders is also taking the lead in trying to find ways to make yachting more sustainable is extremely appropriate. And I'm talking about more than just the water wall and the Tisumo wood as impressive as that product is. One of the most interesting concepts that Lurson have developed is a system that takes energy from the engines in the form of heat and repurposes it for other systems on the boat. Now I met up with Thorsten Gurkes from Lurson who explained that system to me. So the big thing that I'm interested in for this video is about the heat reclamation system because I'm not technical at all, so I need it spelling out to me how it works. <laughs> yes, the heat recovery system you mean, yes. uh, I think, so is um, a system that um, if you burn fuel in a combustion engine, then about 30% of the energy that you put in the engine is blown away by heat because it heats up, you know that from your car. And then to cool down the engine, you need water or air. Sometimes you need have uh, water-cooled uh, engines in cars, but not so often. But here on, on board, of course, you cannot cool them with air. You cool them with water. And uh, the water is taken from the sea, so it is comparably cold. And then it cools the engine, and uh, we don't spill it to the sea um, directly. We go through a heat exchanger where we got the 30% back. So we steal the heat energy and with this stolen heat we heat up all the domestic um, 
waters, the pool waters, the jacuzzi waters. So we try to uh, get most of the energy before then the rest, of course, is spilled as, as usual. So if, if a shipyard is not doing that, how do they heat up the water in the pool? Oh, then they would uh, um, take the combustion engine generate electric ele uh, electric power and then they have a heat um, coil that heats up the water so you you're not just recovering and losing en energy you're spending on top an another portion of energy um, so that makes no use but were you involved in the design of the new, of the new system uh, no that is a system we have a mechanical department um, with our specialists so as a project manager you can't be a specialist for each and every system of course uh, and our specialists they have developed this system over the years and now it is becoming more and more a standard on our boats Excellent. Yeah. thank you very much yeah that you're was welcome the, that was really cool yeah We think of a boat show as being a time to sell boats, and of course that's absolutely true. Of course with Lursons, the yachts are so large that the time that's taken from the first contact to the moment that the yachts actually sold can be really quite lengthy, with the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show just being one of those points of contact along the route, which is why I think it's really quite ingenious of Lurson to use this opportunity, not just to meet clients and other industry professionals, but also to communicate what their brand is all about. By building their stand from Tesumo, they give yacht builders and yacht buyers quite literally an opportunity to touch and feel this wonderful new material. The water wall is a constant reminder that actually we really do need to cut back on our use of plastics. And then when you engage in conversation with the Lurson staff, it's incredible what you learn about the initiatives this company is taking to ensure that people can continue to enjoy the wonders of this planet for many years to come, while still showing respect for the resources found on it.